Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Um, Terrain Adriatico is where I'm at at the moment and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We're staying in a hotel that I've stayed in a few times. Um, I've got a wonderful little basset hound here who I met as, in 2020 as a puppy and now he's a big old droopy, awesome little thing. I'm going well. It was a bit of a surprise. I wasn't going well in UAE and that wasn't very long ago, but now I'm going very well. I had a shocker of a TT, like shocker is in good. And I've come to the conclusion I don't understand time traveling anymore because honestly, I parked the TT bike completely. Last time I touched it before the UAE tour was the hour record. So, I uh, managed to knock that one out and maybe there's something in just not thinking about it too much anymore. I, I, I really did. I relaxed, I stopped looking at, I haven't trained it, I haven't done any training for it. I've been training for, to be a better lead out man. And uh, yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it, but I'll, I'll certainly take it. And I think there is something in relaxing and not focusing too hard on it because I remember I got out the blocks, got going, got up to what I felt like was speed. Um, in the roads in Italy you have to be quite aware of all the potholes because all of them could end your race. And I looked down at the power meter after two or three K and it read 490. And, and I think the last two years me would have panicked to try and start then bringing that power down and perhaps spiking the power and trying to get a certain average. But this time I just, I looked down, I saw 490 and I was like, that's a big number. I think I feel all right. And I just soldiered on. So I finished with my second best 10 minute power ever. It was 465, I think. And it just a very good, very good TT beaten by, by, beaten by Askren, who's in great form at the moment. Evan Pohl, who you might have heard of, Pogaccia you might have heard of. Oh, Angana. Got a lot of spare bikes. But yeah, that, that was a big gap, so let's not, let's not go saying that was the reason. Um, but needless to say, for my next time trial, that's gonna be my following car with a roof rack full of bikes on it. Anyway, stage one, stage two went well-ish. We kind of got swamped at the end of the stage. Now we're on stage three, so got a good team here, chat with the boys, and then we'll uh, keep you keep you informed. Come on, get around, boys! <laughs> He's a, he, this is the guy that's actually doing the media? This yeah. is the guy who gets paid to do the media. Yeah, we, the, we just do it for free. We're just doing it for free. <laughs> but he, Shaws is going to be out of a job because we do the job for zero money. Exactly. <laughs> He's a professional, and we are amateurs. <laughs> Your videos are better than mine. Well, oh, you said it, not us. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you're getting a human impression. No, we're, we're, we're looking at the professional setting up an interview, <laughs> which we've commandeered. Wait, wait. <laughs> we could all film. I'm every, nervous for this. Every, I'd be nervous if I were you. I lost my camera. We could compare camera sizes. That's that's yeah. yours. I was I was playing to make a serious video. Yeah. Look, I'm not sure. Look, so, look, look at the size this of guy, the camera. Yeah. See the size of my package? <laughs> <laughs> so we've got three media personnel on this team now. I recently contracted Alex Delta, Carol Impey, and Shores. We're hoping to take his job away. <laughs> <laughs> all right, on no seriousness, let's get this the, video the underway. Thing is, the yeah. thing is, it's like, okay. you guys could do my job, but I cannot do you guys' job. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, true. So no, I think you do good videos, okay. Shores. Okay. This is Mikkel, another media guy on the team. <laughs> who just stands looking broody and pretends to be on the phone. Exactly. Look busy. <laughs> Morning. 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 Oh, it's already running. Oh, oh, that's you in shape. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going all right. I don't know where it came from, but I'll take it. Yeah, but that's <laughs> the beauty of cycling, like I said. It is, it makes no sense. <laughs> None of it makes sense. Stop being a time trialist and knock out one of your best time trials ever. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> this is the team we have here. Daryl MP, as you've seen. Jakob Full 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 Gas. Jakob Full Gas. 
Fool's Gang. Fool's Gang, Fugly Sang. It's a silent, silent G, L or S, depending on which country you're from. Fug Lang. Fool's Lang. Fugal Sang. Jack and Bernard Solo. Chris Neal. Big Zabo. And Brantley. Currently, I'm going better than Brantley, which... He's not happy about at all. So, yeah, big lead out today. Um, same stage that happened a few years ago that Edvard Bosenhagen, I think, won. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Let's see how we go. No words of wisdom today, mate. I'm focused, I'm not making vlogs like you. I'm focused on Jakob in full, well, yesterday's full winter kit. Today, a little less. Does that mean you're going to... I, I, I think I'm going to go for knee warmers. Are you, in, are you a fan of knee warmers? Because it's very divided. Some pros think they're useless. Some like them. To be honest, I think knee warmers itself is useless because you just need leg warmers and then you can cut them the right leg. To turn them into knee warmers? Because knee warmers, the, the real knee warmers that like finishes here halfway on your calf, no. Ah. They need actually to go to basically where your socks start. Yeah. We need to be knee warmers will be like two centimeters of skin free between socks and, and knee warmers. That's that's my point of view on okay. knee warmers. So you get leg warmers to cut them. Yeah. So they become knee warmers. Yeah. Yeah. How's the form, Bradley? <laughs> it's rising. It's rising. <laughs> Is it? For me, the most important. Because you've trained really hard this winter, didn't you? Like really hard. Like really hard. <laughs> The good thing is my looking, you see. Also, if I'm not a shape, I still uh, <laughs> I can shine, you know. Just being here. Yeah, so that's a wrap on Torino. Um, very sorry. <laughs> what you're getting is basically the end of it. Adriatic Ocean started at. Mediterranean Ocean. Truthfully, we were here four days ago, three days ago, which sort of begs the question, why did we do another three or four stages? Because we arrived, but uh, yeah, I'm not, not here to complain, not here to complain at all. Yeah, real mixed bag this week. Um, for me personally, I'm from the team. Started off with a solid TT. I was blown away by it, to be honest. I kind of take my foot off the gas with the TT a little bit for a couple of reasons. Um, one is that I need to be a lead-out man because, you know, I don't... The contracts are getting harder and harder to to get and, um, truthfully, a time trialist that struggles to win anything, competitive, but struggles to win anything is quite useless to a team. So, after the hour record, the hour record was the last time I rode my TT bike, jumped on it at UAE, was okay. Here, it was great. I, great. I was, and I wonder if maybe the, the few a few things at play, one being just relaxing with it, not really thinking too hard about it anymore. Another being uh, more lead out style training, a bit more high intensity stuff, uh, new coach, new different way of, of doing things. I mean, I've never had a bad coach. So sometimes I think it's, it's good to change just to get a new different stimulus. Cause I think, if you do a lot of the same stuff, you become good at that and you don't see the see the gains from it. There's that, and I think also just not being so hell-bent on it. I rode it very much based on feeling. Um, after two or three K, I, I had my first look at the average power, and it was like 490. And I think the last two years, I'd have gone like, that's too high, and then knocked it back, lost some speed, tried to get, uh, tried to nail the numbers. Whereas here, I was more like, I remember I looked at it, I was like, that's a big number. But I feel all right, I'm gonna plow on. And these shorter TTs, these 10 to 15 minute efforts, it is a case of you need to, you need to, you have to go out hard and hang on. And you can either hang on or you can't. A little bit easier when it comes to the start of the race TT rather than the end of the race TT, because the end of the race TT it depends how you've got through the week as to whether you can um, whether you can do it or not. So 
That was nice, nice to be back in the mix. Um, you kind of look at it and think, oh, one and a half seconds to Askren. Like, maybe, but actually, if I'd focused on it, maybe I wouldn't have been. So that was, uh, that was good. And then lead outs were, we're good. We're, I mean, we're consistent. We're finding our feet. I think it's, it's very much a new thing for Giacomo. Nizzolo. He's never had a lead out train up until now and he's he's a scrapper so he's getting used to like fighting from the front rather than having to fight his way through and then and then go it's like we get used to having a handheld ride to the finish line and we, we really nailed it today the final stage so that was that was good but yeah it's been so hard like such a hard week and actually I think the the camera motorbike has a lot to do with that certainly yesterday and today and you, you know and it's a toss up because I am I, the race has to get good footage because without the footage there is no you know there's no TV but they are so influential when they're sat 10 metres in front of the bunch and uh, yesterday we had had 90 minutes about 300 watts which is you know that's big for the middle of a road race and uh, today on the finishing circuit, it was just, it was getting ridiculous. It, just the pace that we had, and I, I ended up. And Nikki, our director, had said like, oh, if, if the camera motorbike's getting too much, tell us, and we'll go talk to the commissaire. So that happened. Then the camera motorbike moved way ahead, and the pace just died down. It's an aspect of racing we have to deal with, um, especially here in Italy. It seems to be common, but then speaking around, they're like, oh, it happens in the Tour, it happens in the Vuelta. Then I wonder if teams actually use that, like, you know, Ineos or Jumbo, they go ride the front early because they know they're going to put everyone to the sword behind because they've got a little bit of help from the motorbike and it's actually not as hard at the front as, as, what, um, as what you think. But so for my own sensations, it's, yeah, it's hard. It's, it's so tough coming from UAE to here or UAE to Paris Nice because it's such a different sort of style is this this is tough gritty racing whereas UAE you're either off or you're on whereas here it's like just on all day and, and it's a bit of a shock it's always a shock to the system so but yeah we did good Rick Rick is was phenomenally good today um Daryl as well I, I know the whole team were to be honest and um everyone gets stuck into the lead out and it's it's nice when it comes off Giacomo was second by the narrowest of margins, which um, it's gut wrenching, but it's it's racing. Like, we're happy to be there like, at the sharp end, and it's tricky because of the headwind finish. And it's like Nikki and Greg Henderson, Nikki Sorensen and Greg Henderson do the plan, and you know we we trust it and it works. So uh, I think you know we're doing well. But yeah, like I said, just I've been. We've all been on our hands and knees for a few days here, which I haven't filmed so much. Daryl's filmed plenty. Daryl's great. So check out his channel. But yeah, we've, well, it's quite, today, I'll just round off this chat. Today, Remco came up to me. I don't, I don't, um, I'm not really chatted to Remco much, but he came up and he was just like, you filmed any videos this week? And it's always comes, always comes a surprise when, other people watch my videos or well, anyone watches the videos it's always a shock still I mean I should grow to expect it really that people watch the videos I mean the numbers the numbers say that people watch the videos but um yeah like Remco come you filmed any videos I was like no nah, mate I've been on my hands and knees all week and uh he's like oh yeah 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 I, was like, I said Daryl has so you should check out his but um yeah so I hope this suffices and we're on for Milan San Remo now. Last minute change of plan is going well. So we'll do Milan San Remo next week. We're going to spend the week here in Italy doing a recon um, of the final and then head to Milan and rest up. Big week. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully we'll get some content this week as all the lads are in one place and not training a huge amount as we rest up for San Remo.